Let's take a look at lists again. I'm going to key in x equals two squares a four, comma, and a five. Two squares, and that's it. This is going to create an outer and an inner list. And the inner list will point to the four and five, and the placeholders in the outer list will point to the, to the inner list. All right, well, now I'm going to multiply it times 3. Now, what just happened? Let's take a look at x right now and see what we can see. we got three of them, 4, 5, 4, 5, and 4, 5. Now, what happened up here? The system created an outer list, like so. Then it created another list. An inner list. And placeholder 0, abstracting placeholder 1, points to this guy, to this guy, and the 0th guy here on the inner list points to the 4, and the 1 of the element points to the 5. And it's assigned the name X, like so. Now, what happens when I multiply it by 3, as I did over here? Well, well, what it did was it took it took that inner list, took that list, and made P0, P1, P0, P1, P0, P1 placeholders. And these guys, the p 0 with placeholder abstract, points to the same list. And this P0 points to this one of the same list. This P0 points to this element of the same list. P1, on the other hand, P1 points to the one -th element. And all the P1s point to the one -th element of the list object. But these are references. The list object here, the inner list object, is pointing to the 4, and the 0th element of the inner list object points to the 4, and the 1th element of the inner list object points to the 5. I'm going to kill this 5. I'm going to make it 88. And every single one of these P ones are going to change. Let's do it. So over here on the left screen, I'm going to key in the following. Uh, X, and uh, let's pick a uh, pick any one of them. The 0, 1, 2, let's choose the 2th element. That would be this guy here. This guy here. 0, 1, 2. So, X, take your 2th element, and... Specifically, it's um, it's one of the element, and make that equal to eighty-eight. So what I'm saying is, go to the two of the area. See the one of the guy? He's pointing to here. Make that here eighty-eight. Well, that's going to change this guy and this guy and this guy. They're all going to say it's eighty-eight because they're all pointing to this one location. Now, if I key in X. I should get 88 for every single one of those. Well, now I want to change the 2, the 4. I want to change this 4, so it says a 2. When I do that, all of these guys are going to change for the P0s. All right, let's, let's see if, because they're all pointing to this one list object. I'm going to change it here. These guys are all going to change. All right, here we go. I'll say uh, x. Now I'll choose a different element now, uh, the zeroth element. X, your zeroth element, and his uh, zeroth element. And I want you to make that equal to uh, two. All right. Let's see what's in there. Two eighty-eight, two eighty-eight, and two eighty-eight. Wow, that's amazing. Well, let's go one step further. These two guys over here are pointing to this list with the zero and one of the element, or the zero and one of the element of the list object is pointed to two and eighty-eight respectively. Now, 
What if I change that? What if I fundamentally change that list object now? Let's do that. I'm going to say uh, X. Uh, yeah. Take your uh, one of the object. Yeah. Your one of the object. And what I want you to do is I want to dot append something onto the end of it. What do you want me to append onto it? I want you to append the number 125. 125. And I hit enter. Wow. What's going to happen now? Is the system going to come over here and draw another box? Add another box onto this guy and put 125 in here. Whoops. Not 125 in here. But have this guy reference 125 over here. Whoops. Is he going to do that? And then, is he going to update all these guys so that they're all pointing now to the three objects? So I'll have a P2 here. So to speak. Placeholders pointing to this tell. One. Oh, this is going to look ratty. Two. And. Oh, no way I can get around that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Three. Is that what's going to happen? Let's find out. Key and X. And. Oh, we got ourselves another element over here, it looks like. Yes, we do, because they're all pointing to the same list box, same list object, and I just added another guy onto the end of that list object, so they're all pointing again, again to the one list object. But now the list object is a little bit bigger, and the list object's pointing to now a 125, so they all reflect that. Well, well that's all I got to say for now. This is George. Well, thanks so much for listening. If you enjoyed the video, click on the like button. I'd appreciate it. And I'll see you the, uh, next time in the next video. Bye-bye now.